mysterious Adobe Illustrator CC eyedropper tool. Quite a handy tool, but it's different than any eyedropper tool you've ever seen in any graphics application. Let's take a look. So I have this new document open in Adobe Illustrator, but before I do anything over there, let me go into Photoshop. In Photoshop, I've got this uh, star here, which I created in Illustrator and brought it into Photoshop. But like, here's the eyedropper tool here in Photoshop. And here's my fill color down here set to white. And if I take the eyedropper tool and just click on the center of the star, then there's my color, which is very handy because People that have logos and business cards and clients want specific colors and I can double click the color and get the hexadecimal value for websites. I can get the CMYK values and, and I'm good to go. That's what an eyedropper pretty much does in every application. But in Adobe Illustrator, we'll go back into Illustrator now, it's totally different. So to show you how this works. I'm just going to I'm going to choose a fill color and I'm going to choose a different stroke color. Okay. And then I'm just going to make a oval. And this increase the stroke. Where's Mr. Stroke Panel? He's hiding over here. No, he's not. This Window stroke. Ah, where did you go? Here you are. Okay. So I'm going to increase the stroke of this object. And there you go. So I've got this object right here. Let's, uh, let's make another object. Deselect. Okay, now, and I'm going to duplicate this object. Okay, and I'm going to change this, give it a different fill color. Let's give this a different stroke color. <coughs> okay, so maybe maybe we'll put a pattern in the middle. What the heck? There you go. Okay, so. What if I want to take the attributes of this object and put it over here on these objects over here? And before before I do that, let's let's duplicate these so we have some options. Well, what if I want to take this blue stroke with this pattern in the middle and, and apply it to one of these doohickeys over here? Here's how this works. I select the object with the information that I want to transfer. It's that simple. And then, no, here's what I do. I select this object. I want to put these attributes into this object over here that is selected. So once this is selected, I take the eyedropper tool and I click on this object. There you go. Uh, what, what if I want to put those attributes on these two objects? Well then, I can come over here, select these two objects, wrong. I, I select this object over here, and then just take the, oh, I'm doing this wrong. I, I'm, I'm confusing myself. I select both of these, eyedropper tool, there they go, both of them over there. So you can see you can select multiple objects and apply attributes from another object to, to this object over here. Now this comes in handy. Like I, I've got this Volkswagen over here. I started this Volkswagen in a video. It was how to use the pen tool. And uh, so I just traced a Volkswagen and, and you can see it, if I, if I hide everything and hide this, I started out with this Volkswagen right here, and then I just like traced 
went over it with the pen tool and came up with this Volkswagen. Well, what if I want to change the color? What if I want to play with the Volkswagen over here? Maybe increase the stroke a little bit and maybe make this like candy red or maroon red kind of. Well, here we go. All I would have to do is click, maybe click shift click on the various parts of the car and then I can just take my eyedropper tool and click this and it sucks the attributes out of this and puts it into that. If I, if I deselect, I select the object where I want to apply the attributes and suck those attributes out of there. Deselect and I select this. I mean, it, it confuses me. Uh, uh, you can see where I'm going though. Um, and and this works even if I wanted to make. See, select this, select this object, eyedropper tool, and suck this and put it into that. Now, um, if we go back to Photoshop, well, this is really cool. Like, I can click yellow, I get this color down here. This, I get this color down here. This, I get this color down here. Well, what, what if you want to do that, which works well, especially if you're working with images. So if, if I go back into here, and what if, what if I wanted to use maybe this gray? Well, to get the color, I click the eyedropper tool, hover over the object. Notice fill color right now is car red. But if I get the eyedropper tool, hover over the roof, I hold the shift key down and click. There's the color from the image. If I want to match this green grass, there's the color of the green grass. If I want the color of this window, there's the color of the window. So there's the eyedropper tool. It has all of the functions of the eyedropper tool in Adobe Illustr in Adobe Photoshop, but you have to hold the shift key down to use it like that eyedropper tool. In the world of vector LAN, it's used to transfer the attributes of one object to another object or to multiple objects.